operation of a double effect evaporator. First, let's look at startup. Ensure all sight glass valves are open for effect A, V3, and 4, for effect B, V16, and 17, for tank 1, V25, and 26, and for tank 2, 32, and 33. Drain the water from effect A by opening the green valve at the bottom, V5, and from effect B by opening V18. Close both valves once the water has been drained. To drain condensate collection tank 1, open valve V23 at the top and 24 at the bottom. To drain condensate collection tank 2, open valve 34 at the top and 35 at the bottom. Once these tanks have been completely drained, close all pre-listed valves. Turn on the water supply by opening valve V15 on the back wall. Turn the cooling water on for heat exchanger 1 by opening valve V6 to 45 degrees and the heat exchanger 2 by opening valve V7 to 45 degrees. Turn on the cooling water for heat exchanger 3 by opening valve V13, V12, and V14 near the wall. Next, open the green valve V19 to roughly 30 degrees. To fill effect A with water, open valves V8 and V9. These valves will remain open the entire operation as effect A has a regulator. Ensure at all times the water level is somewhere between halfway and the top but never above the front sight window. Fill effect B with water by opening valve V10 and slightly opening valve V11 until water trickles down the sight glass. Fill effect B to your desired water level. Make sure the water level is above the steam coil about halfway up the circular window, but no higher than the top of the sight glass. Set up a vacuum in effect B. Ensure that V20, 21, 22, and 36 are completely closed. V29 and 34 should already be closed. Close V23, open V27, open V28, and close V30. Open V31 to apply vacuum to effect B. Your steam gauge on top of effect B should look like this. Always wear heat safe gloves when dealing with the steam lines. To turn on the steam, open V1 until the pressure gauge upstream reads 55. You might hear a loud noise, which is normal. Monitor for about 10 minutes until steady. Do not exceed 60. Now open V2, the red Jordan valve, to your desired pressure between 15 and 30. To increase your pressure, turn clockwise and to decrease counterclockwise. You will need to adjust V1 so the pressure reads 55 PSIG here every time you adjust V2 and the pressure gauge here. Allow your system to reach steady state and perform any experimentation. After steady state has been reached, start collecting in tank 2 by opening V29, quickly closing V28 and opening V30, and closing V27. To switch tanks again, mimic these instructions. To drain either tank, follow the appropriate startup instructions. Next, let's look at shutdown procedures. Turn off the steam by closing V1 to exactly perpendicular to the pipe. Wait until both gauges read zero. Turn off the vacuum by closing V31, opening 27, 29, 23, and 34. You will hear a small hiss as air enters the tanks. Drain tanks according to previously demonstrated procedures. At least 15 minutes after the steam has been turned off, turn off cooling water, ensure V11 is closed, close V9, V6, and V7, V13, and V19. Do not drain effects A and B. Ensure the area around the system is clean and organized for the next operation.